Hello and welcome to this screencast about DI3 tree data structure and container model. I assume that you have already watched the official screencast and this video should teach you everything about the tree data structure you need to know as a user. So when we talk about the tree data structure, what we mean is a data structure in which i3 organizes all your windows. And to help me illustrate my point during this presentation, I've configured a key which will show a visual representation of the data structure. So it looks like this. Uh, at the moment, there's just one container, right? Because we are on an empty workspace and the workspace is a container. So what happens when we open just one terminal window is that we get a new container as a child of the workspace container. You can see that the workspace container is a horizontal split container and the window we just opened is a so-called leaf container. There's just these two types in i3. There's either a split container or a leaf container. Now, when we open another terminal, what happens is that the workspace will just get another child, right? And in fact, split containers can have an arbitrary number of children, um, but they need to have at least one of them. So, what happens when we press mod V for a vertical split, you might ask? And let's just do that, and we can see that it worked because the bottom border of the window changed to the indicator color, indicating that the next window will be opened below this one. And if we have a look at the data structure, we can see that the terminal window to the right, uh, which previously was just a direct child of the workspace, was now put inside a newly created vertical split container. Right, So that's what uh, a split vertical does. Now, when we open another terminal, um, as you would expect, the vertical split container just gets another child, right? So this node here corresponds to the terminal on the top, and this node right there corresponds to the terminal at the bottom, right? Uh, the one on the left here is still there. So, of course, we can nest this as far as we want. We can press mod H for horizontal split on this one, um, open another one, and have a look at the data structure. And we can see that it grows more complex um, because we have another level here. There's a horizontal split container, which we just created. And to make things more interesting, what I will do now is I will change the layout of um, this vertical split container in the hierarchy. I'm talking about this one, right, which contains the terminal I'm just typing in and the other horizontal split container. Um, I will change the layout of this one to stacking. Right? So what happened now is that we have two title bars at the top, and the first title bar is obvious. right? It belongs to the terminal which we were typing in. The second title bar is not that obvious. Um, when we press uh, mod down to focus this one, what will happen is that the focus will instead go to this terminal, which previously was the one on the right. And when we change focus to the left, we can see that it goes to the left terminal, but both of them are actually inside the horizontal split container, right? If we look at the data structure, nothing has changed. It's just a different representation of what we had previously. So those are the two terminals we are currently on, and this one is the horizontal split container. And if you look at the title bar, it will tell you that this is an i3 data structure because it's a split container and it's horizontal, that's what the H stands for, and it contains two X terms, right? I can open more and the title will adju uh, be adjusted accordingly. All right, now um, what you can do is you can just move terminal windows to the top, for example. So let's mark this one. Uh, so that we can recognize it and move it to the top. And what will happen is that it will be moved out of the split container, right? So movements into any direction work just as you would expect them to. Um, now, if you move the other window also out of the container, um, it works as expected, but now you will notice that the split container here is actually kind of useless, right? If you look at the data structure, we can see that there's just one child inside this split container. And uh, people often ask how they can get rid of this title bar. So they just want to get rid of the split container altogether. Like the horizontal split container here should just go away. 
And the answer to that is that we want to get this leaf container up to this level again. And one way to do it is just to move it up or down. There's really no difference between the two of them. So I will, I'm going to move it up and you can see that the split container vanished. And that's because we moved the last child out of it and it became empty and empty split containers get closed because they don't make any sense, right? So if you look at the data structure again, um, the split container used to be right here and we moved the leaf to the left of it actually and then the split container was closed by a three because it became empty. And now I'm going to change the layout to tapped. Um, and there's also a question people often have, which is when they are in here, how can they change focus to the window on the left without actually focusing this window, right? Because what you would do without knowing how to do it properly is you would focus to the left, then you end up here, and then you would focus to the left again, right? Um, you get to the window where you want to go, but uh, you also switched focus within the tapped container, right? So let's have a look at the data structure. Um, this horizontal split container here is in tapped layout. And what we want to do is we want to go from here to the one here, right? We do not want to go from here to here to here. So one way to do this is uh, right now we focus the editor. Uh, so the focus is here. And we can tell i3 to uh, focus the parent container of the one we are currently focusing. And th that command is named focus parent, and it's bound to mod A in the default configuration. So we can say move focus to the parent container, and then the horizontal split container will be focused. So it looks like this. We press mod A, and you can see that both title bars are now blue, meaning that both windows which are inside that horizontal container are focused right now because the horizontal split container is focused, right? And when we now press mod left to move focus to the, to the left, um, we just change focus without changing focus within the tapped container, right? Uh, so to repeat this once again, we press mod A for focus parent and now in the data structure focus is here. So mod left will just get us directly here. Right? And you can repeat this as often as you want to. Um, there's one more thing about the focus parent which is handy, um, and that's if you open a new window right now, it will be placed within this tab container. Right? So in the data structure, the focus was on our editor window here, we open a new window and it got opened on the same level. So to be able to open a new window to the right of the tab container, what you can just do is you say focus parent, open a new window and you can see that it appeared to the right of our horizontal split container also in the data structure. Okay, that's about it. I hope this clarifies things a little bit. If you still have any questions, feel free to post them in our FAQ system at faq.i3wm.org or come to our IC channel or mailing list and we will try our best to help you out. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.